Today we have some exciting news to discuss about the Model 3. Now as we know the Model 3 has been a huge success for Tesla with over 1 million units sold since 2017, leading the way in mass vehicle production for the company. But despite some changes in batteries, build materials and hardware over the last few years, we have yet to see a major redesign of the Model 3 until now. Recent leaked photos of the new Model 3 design have surfaced online showing some significant changes. One noticeable change is the absence of the familiar duck face headlights which have been a defining feature of the Model 3. Now personally I've always liked the unique look of the duck face headlights with their soft aggression and LED daytime running lights. However these headlights seem to be replaced by a sleeker and more aggressive design similar to the ones used in the Tesla Roadster and current Model S and X vehicles. And now it is possible that this design change may also be extended to the Model Y in the near future as the duck face headlights are used across the entire Model 3 and Y fleet. In addition to the headlights, the leaked photos also reveal a new bumper design without the air curtain inlets, which could explain the wider radiator intake. A production photo of the bumper has also surfaced online, though its authenticity is yet to be confirmed. What do you think about these changes? Let me know in the comments below. There's also speculation in the Tesla community that the new Model 3 may also come with Tesla Hardware 4, which promises massive improvements in self-driving capabilities. Retrofitting older Tesla models with Hardware 4 may not be feasible, as Elon Musk mentioned in a recent interview, due to the significant costs and difficulty involved in retrofitting. However, he also expressed his confidence in Hardware 3's safety, stating that it will likely exceed the average human's driving abilities. This doesn't mean that Hardware 3 is outdated, what Elon Musk is saying here is that Hardware 3 is still safe enough compared to the normal human driver for full self-driving capabilities. And something else to keep in mind as well is that Hardware 4 vehicles often need more cameras on board for the computer, so this leaked Tesla image of the potential new Model 3, if it will have Hardware 4, we would be looking at having at least 12 onboard cameras versus the current nine cameras that Model 3s on the road currently have. Another upgrade that's been rumored for the Model 3 is the onboard tech. Now we've all seen the Model S and X receive upgrades with new inbuilt dash screens and driver dash displays with important driving information. Could we see similar updates on the Model 3? Only time will tell. In the leaked image you can see that it does look like it has a bit of a dashboard but due to the quality of the image it's really really hard to tell if it is a dash above the steering wheel or if it's just a cover hiding the dash or possible tech in the image. In recent months we've seen the prices of Model 3s dropping globally. Some speculate that this could be a strategic move by Tesla to clear out existing stock before the new Model 3 is announced. Could this mean that the new Model 3 release is just around the corner? Well it's definitely a possibility to consider. Something else to also consider is that the Model Ys have also been dropping in price globally and quite often we see Tesla adjusting the prices of their mainstream models, the Model 3 and the Model Y, purely based off demand in the market. But once again, they are dropping the price of both of those, it could be just demand is dropping or they could be getting ready to release these new models. That's all we know about the upcoming changes in the Model 3 thanks to the leaked images that have been posted online. Stay tuned for more updates and do let me know your thoughts and predictions down in the comment section below. And once again don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Corner for the latest Tesla news and I'm also looking at making a whole bunch of tutorial videos on the Model 3. Also a one year review as I've recently just clocked one year with my Tesla 2022 Model 3 standard range drive or just base model uh, and I've also recently clocked 30,000 kilometers in the vehicle so I'm going to be making a video very very shortly mentioning uh, how much it costs to run the vehicle over a year and an overall review on my experience of owning the Tesla vehicle for a year. Once again guys thanks for watching and do subscribe and I'll see you in our next video.